What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. And this one is pretty important. The start of a new era will begin on Sunday. After 16 years of Eli Manning being our starting quarterback, or actually 15 years, it will be Daniel Jones's turn to be behind center for the New York Giants against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I just want to get something off my chest real quick. And I've had a lot of people coming on my page, commenting, everything else, saying I'm disrespecting Eli Manning because I'm happy that Daniel Jones is starting, because I'm happy for a new era with the New York Giants, because I've been critical of Eli Manning. Let me tell you guys something, okay? Number one, I've probably been a Giants fan longer than most of you have been alive. Okay, number two, I'm critical of every single player on this team, whether it's Eli Manning or the 53rd man on this team. If they're not doing their job, I'll call them out for it. I don't care. And at the same token, I will give them credit. Just like I gave Odell Beckham credit last night for his spectacular one-handed catch. And this, you know, the 11-yard slant, he took 89 yards. Okay? Never questioning any bit of Odell Beckham's talent. So, I don't care who the hell you are on this team. I'm a fan and I have a voice. And if I don't like the way you're playing, I'm going to say something about it. It doesn't mean I've disrespected Eli Manning or don't appreciate everything that he's done for this team. Just knock it off with that crap, okay? I'm just ready for something different. This team's been bad for seven years. I'm ready to see something new. We drafted this kid sixth overall so that this would happen eventually. It happened a little sooner than a lot of people thought. But we knew it was going to happen. So it has happened. They've named Daniel Jones a starter for Sunday. And I will say this too, okay? It's funny how sometimes you just want something real bad and you want to see something happen. You want to see something happen. And then it happens and you're like, oh man, like it it really happened. Like this is really happening. A little sad about it. I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. It's going to be very different. And I know Geno Smith started a couple years ago, but that was nothing. You, we all knew Eli Manning was still the starting quarterback of this team. Well, Daniel Jones, this is a different story. You're not benching Daniel Jones. You can't bench Daniel Jones at any point unless he's injured. Knock on what he doesn't get injured. But no matter how bad or how much he struggles, if that's the case, you cannot sit there and go back to Eli Manning. It wouldn't be good for Eli Manning. It wouldn't be good for Daniel Jones. I think Eli Manning's on the verge of being traded. That's just my opinion. Pittsburgh Steelers without Ben Roethlisberger there. They went out and got Minka Fitzpatrick. I think that's a landing spot that could happen. Would not surprise me if the Giants are working on something for trading Eli Manning, and that's why they made this move so early, to be honest with you. Because I don't know if they think it's because they went to Daniel Jones thinking he's going to save the season. I, I think the Giants may have something in the works as far as the trade goes. But... We'll find that out in future days. And, of course, guys, I wanted to put this video up earlier today, but, you know, I work, so not that easy. I, I got sent home sick yesterday. I'm like, why the hell couldn't you guys announce this yesterday when I was home? Why, why don't you have the decency to announce it like 6 o'clock when I can actually get on here and talk about it? But regardless, I wanted to give my opinion on it, and it is time, man. It, it's time. I appreciate everything I, Eli Manning's done, but, man, we, we got to move on. You didn't draft Daniel Jones to sit all year. It, 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 no matter what they said, that wasn't the plan, man. They talked about him sitting three years, two years, this whole year. It, we all knew that wasn't going to be the case. The Giants are on two. They just need something to happen. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's because I think Daniel Jones is going to save the season or they already feel like they're not going to compete and they're like, let's get this, like I think, and let's just get this kid all the experience that we can get him because this season is is already kind of lost. We have a really bad defense. Our wide receiving core is beat up really bad. And let's face it, we're just not very good. So we plan on being good next year. This is a rebuild. You don't rebuild a 38-year-old Eli Manning. You build, rebuild with 23-year-old Daniel Jones. That's how you do it. So next year, when you go into the, into the year, he'll have a year of experience pretty much, you know, and, and all your guys, all your rookies in the secondary will have a year of experience, and your second-year guys will have another year of experience, and you have $100 million in cap space to make that team better. So I, I think that they're looking to next year. Daniel Jones gets all the growing pains and all the mistakes out of the way this year and a year where they are rebuilding, and then next year he's ready to go to start off the 2020 season. So, like I said, man, it's going to be a little sad. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. People think because I'm critical of Eli Manning, somehow I don't like Eli Manning. And that's the farthest thing from the truth, man. Eli Manning is one of my favorite Giants of all time. What that guy's done for this franchise is unquestioned. I have stuck up for Eli Manning on numerous occasions. Hell, before the season even started, I made a video that says Eli Manning haters can go take a flying leap at the moon or something to that effect. Okay, can go jump in a lake. Because people do disrespect Eli Manning and have disrespected him for years. Oh, he's lucky those two Super Bowls are the defense. He had nothing to do with it. He's he's a below average quarterback. He's overrated. And I've defended Eli Manning for 15 years. But the fact of the matter is, man, it's just time. It happened with Derek Jeter for me. It happened with Lawrence Taylor. It happened with Mariano Rivera. It has happened with some of my favorite players in all sports. It happened with Patrick Ewing. 
It happened with every. It happened with a lot of my favorite players. You know, some of my favorite players of all time. It happens to everybody. Joe Montana retired, guys. You know, Lawrence Taylor retired. You know, someday Tom Brady's going to retire. You know, it happens. It happens to the best of players. Eli Manning may catch on somewhere and, and, and you know, get another year or two. And if that's the case, I wish Eli Manning nothing but the best. It's not like I'm going to root for the guy to fail. You know, I want him to do well. I hope that if we do trade him, he goes somewhere and wins another Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you this right now. If he went to the Jaguars, if he went to the Steelers, he went to the Colts, those are the three destinations I could see him going to, honestly. But ever since Pittsburgh made that move, I, I have a feeling that that may be a destination. I actually think it could be kind of funny that Ben Roethlisberger and Eli Manning will be on the same team, even though Big Ben's obviously not going to play. But I'll tell you what, if, if he went to a team in the AFC and they were competing for a Super Bowl, you bet your ass I'm rooting for him all the way. All the way. Without a doubt. So I never understood why people think I dislike Eli Manning just because I've been critical of his play. And quite frankly, he's deserved it. Obviously, the front office and the coaching staff feels the same way or they wouldn't have made this move. So I just don't understand it. But this is a move we've been waiting for, guys. And I know a lot of us have been waiting for this. We saw what Daniel Jones did in the preseason. It just made us that more, much more impatient. Getting off to a bad start made us that much more impatient when it comes to the New York Giants and Daniel Jones. And no matter how bad he is, if he's bad, and no matter how good he is, can't blow this out of proportion. Okay, if Daniel Jones comes out and struggles, people can't be like, he's a bust, put Eli Manning back in there. No, guys, this is it. They've made this move. They've made their bed. Now they got to sleep in it, man. That's how it goes, you know. So no matter what happens, Daniel Jones is going to be the quarterback from here on out because that's the one thing that will kill the kid's confidence. You're talking about his confidence being hurt because he has a couple bad games. To put a kid in there and then to pull him out, that would hurt his confidence. And also, it would, how would Eli Manning feel about it, you know. So it wouldn't be good for the team if they did that at any point. So Daniel Jones is a starter from here on out, without a doubt. And Eli Manning had a horrible rookie season. Remember that. He had a very bad rookie season. A lot of quarterbacks do. Carson Wentz did not have a good rookie season. Peyton Manning did not have a good rookie season. So if Daniel Jones struggles, don't get on here and call him a bust and he sucks and everything else. If he comes in and he balls out, then we're going to say we have to wait until to, to the second year. To, if he, I mean, if he comes in here and we start winning games, then it's a different story. But if he's coming in here and he's putting up a lot of numbers and we're losing, we'll have to wait to see what happens next year. But I'm not about to sit here and be like, well, God, he played three games, growing three, and he struggled in all three games. He's a bust. I'm giving him more than three games. I'm giving him more than the season. So we're going to give him a little leeway and not judge him on one year, just like people aren't judging him off of preseason numbers. One thing I've seen about Daniel Jones is he has to protect the ball a lot better, um, without a doubt. But I do think that Daniel Jones will interject some life into this team. I feel like he goes through progressions quicker. He has the mobility aspect that Eli Manning doesn't. And I think he's very confident in his ability and his throws. And I think that the huddle understands that. I think that the huddle reads that. And I also think you're going to see a different game plan for Daniel Jones than you did for Eli Manning. Whether that means some more RPOs, whether that means Daniel Jones has more rollouts with the run-throw option, whether that means they go deeper down the field with Daniel Jones, whatever it is, I think you may see a little shift in the game plan offensively. That's still not going to help our defense, obviously. Um, but I'm excited. Uh, I am excited. Uh, you know, it's bittersweet. It is a bittersweet feeling. We're losing a legend, and at the same time, we're, we're putting some new blood in here. It's the first time in a long time that we're going to see somebody else behind center for the New York Giants. And the new era has begun. This is it. This is it for the New York Giants, man. We are going forward from here on out. This is totally different. It's going to be. It's going to be a different thing on Sunday. I hope you guys will tune in. On Sunday for that live stream, man, on my channel with the Entertainer Talk. Sports. By the way, you guys are going to want to tune in tonight as well uh, for our Talking Giants show on the Entertainer Talk and Sports channel because we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk a lot, a lot more. We'll take your questions as always. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what Danny Dimes has, man. It is Danny Dimes time. It is dime time, baby. And I'm rooting for this kid as hard as anybody. We all know my draft reaction. We all know I did a complete 180. And uh, I'm ready to see what he has. I'm ready to see it. Let's see it, Danny. Let's see it, Danny Dimes. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Let's go, Giants. It's Bad Dog, and I'm gone. Peace.